Body butters are a skin care staple, but you might have noticed that body butters sold by big brands like The Body Shop are really different from the ones you've made at home. You're not imagining things. Big companies employ a key formulation strategy that creates body butters that are lighter, more versatile, don't seize in cold weather, and won't melt in the summer. In this video, I'm going to reveal the big brand's non-greasy, no-melt body butter secret and share a simple, super customizable seven ingredient base formulation so you can start making body butters the way the pros do. Let's go. Most DIY body butters are a blend of butters, liquid oils, and sometimes a bit of wax, all blended together in just the right way to create something decadent. But if you look at the ingredient list for any, say, Bath and Body Works body butter, the first ingredient is water. What? That's because those body butters aren't anhydrous or water-free, like DIY ones usually are. They are emulsified. An emulsion is a stable blend of oil and water. They're a bit more complicated to make than an anhydrous butter, but structuring a formulation this way has quite a few advantages. First off, due to the water content, they are lighter than anhydrous body butters and cheaper to make. The presence of water also means you can include water-soluble ingredients like humectants and vitamins for a more rounded skincare experience. The biggest advantage, though, is an emulsified body butter won't melt in the summer or seize up and get crumbly in the winter, making them easier to ship, sell, and use. Now, an emulsified body butter is basically just a thick lotion, but there are a couple small but key differences to ensure your emulsified body butter is silky smooth, buttery, and applies like a dream. To learn what those are, let's make a simple seven ingredient emulsified body butter. We'll start with the heated oil phase. This first ingredient gives the butter much of its richness while maintaining a soft, slippy skin feel. You'll need 19 grams of a light to mid-weight liquid oil. I'm using golden jojoba oil, but you could easily swap that out. Read the free partner blog post linked in the description box below for suggestions, but don't overthink this part. Up next, some buttery goodness in the form of five grams of a lovely butter. I'm using refined shea butter, but just like with the liquid oil, you can use a different butter. Have some fun with it. Now we need to give the formulation a viscosity boost so it's rich and buttery. We've got to be careful here. Too much of a boost or the wrong kind of boost can make for a product that feels draggy and waxy. You'll need six grams cetyl alcohol, which thickens and improves slip. I don't recommend swapping this for a richer thickener like cetyryl alcohol or stearic acid as those don't glide quite as well. We're making a 100 gram batch of this emulsified body butter. So these fatty, buttery ingredients are fully 30% of the formulation. That is about twice the fat I would include in a lotion formulation, which is why this emulsion will be thick and body buttery rather than lighter and lotiony. The last ingredient in the heated oil phase is the emulsifier. The specific emulsifier is not super important. What really matters is how much you use. The amount of emulsifying wax in a formulation is based off of how much fat is in it. So you'll find a range of recommended ratios, but one part emulsifying wax to every four to five parts oil is a pretty common rule of thumb. I learned the hard and waxy way that if you use this ratio for a formulation with a big oil phase like this one, the final product ends up stiff and waxy instead of soft and scoopy. So to ensure this body butter stays pillowy and lovely, we'll be using four grams emulsifying wax NF. And this works out to one part emulsifier for every seven and a half parts oil. That's still more than enough to emulsify, but won't create a hard, heavy body butter. Up next, the heated water phase. You'll need 50.3 grams distilled water. And for long lasting skin hydration, weigh out 15 grams vegetable glycerin. That's it for the heated phases, so now we can get into the making. This part is pretty similar to how you'd make a lotion, but there is a small but essential difference in the blending of an emulsified body butter compared to a lotion to ensure that it's smooth and doesn't collapse after you've packaged it up. Begin by combining the distilled water and glycerin in a small beaker. Up next, combine the emulsifying wax NF, jojoba oil, shea butter, and cetyl alcohol in a second larger beaker. 
weigh the water phase and note that weight. And this is so we can replace any water lost to evaporation during heating. I'll be using my lab hot plate on low to heat the phases, but you can use a water bath on your stovetop instead. It's a good idea to cover the water phase to reduce evaporation. I'm using a watch glass, but you could definitely use a bit of tin foil instead. While everything heats through, I wanted to take a moment to tell you about something really fun we're doing on Patreon. Every month we choose a product, I take suggestions from my patrons or choose something perhaps that I've been fascinated by, and we do a live breakdown of the ingredient list and the formulation on a patron exclusive live stream. I show you how I research the ingredients and talk you through creating a starter dupe formulation. A couple months ago, we actually did the Bath & Body Works Emulsified Body Butter and that replay and the spreadsheets for it are available right now on Patreon to the exclusive videos and up tier. So if you would like to check out that replay and participate in future live streams, please consider becoming a patron. I've linked it in the description box below. Once the oil phase has melted and both phases are roughly the same temperature, we're ready to start blending. Getting here should take about 20 minutes. Weigh the water phase and top the water phase back up to its preheat weight with some distilled water. Pour the water phase into the heated oil phase, stir the mixture, and then grab your immersion blender. Make sure you start slowly so you don't spray hot emulsion everywhere. This is where things can get a bit tricky. If you don't blend your body butter enough, you can end up with something that is lumpy and uneven. But because emulsified body butters are really thick, it can be easy to accidentally blend them too much, incorporating a ton of air and creating a butter that will feel spongy and can collapse after a few days. So make sure you follow my method to create a body butter that is smooth, but also not full of bubbles. Blend for about 30 seconds and then switch to hand stirring. The emulsion will be really thin at this point, and that is okay. Stir constantly and calmly until you start to notice some clumps coming up on your spatula. Grab your immersion blender again and give the emulsion four or five quick bursts. That is it. Do not pump the blender up and down and make sure it is fully submerged in the emulsion. As soon as you've done that, you will notice the emulsion thickens up a lot. Now you can set it aside and weigh out your cool down phase into a small dish. To preserve the formulation, you'll need half a gram of Liquid Germal Plus. This last ingredient is optional, but for a bit of a juicy scent, I'm including 0.2 grams of a brand new pineapple and lychee natural fragrance oil from Brambleberry. You can use a different fragrance oil or replace it with more distilled water. Once you've weighed out all of the cool down ingredients, add a small blob of emulsified body butter gently whisk to combine, and then scrape and stir that mixture back into the parent batch. Package this creamy emulsified body butter into a wide mouth jar or tub that holds about 100 milliliters or four fluid ounces. Use as you'd use any body butter. This is a great starting point for creating your own emulsified body butters, but if you really want to get into emulsion formulation, it is absolutely essential that you understand the concept I teach in this video. So make sure you check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and happy making. Bye.